Pasta Granny's is in Favagnana, a tiny little island off Sicily, and we're here to meet 93-year-old Clara. She still makes cannoli uh, by using little bamboo uh, rods um, and rolls her pastry around it. It's absolutely fascinating. nata a Favignana che è domiciliata da qua e sono felice di poterci stare e facci cannone perché questa è la caratteristica della Sicilia 93 year old Clara has lived in Favignana an island close to Trapani in Sicily all her life and she is famous for her cannoli Sicilian ricotta filled fried pastries Clara starts with 50 grams of granulated sugar, 200 mils of water and 200 grams of lard. To which she adds two tablespoons of vinegar. She says it gives the pastry more crunchy bubbles. She adds a kilo of zero zero flour. Once the dough has formed, she kneads it for 10 minutes. It's hard work in the summer heat. She was given this recipe when she was young by a family friend who was 90 at the time. <sighs> Clara happens to have two pasta rolling machines. She rolls out the portions of the pastry on the widest setting on one machine and then the number three setting on the other. So it's a little bit thicker than for tagliatelle. Clara uses her oval pastry cutter, especially for cannoli. She places the pastry ovals on a tablecloth to stop them sticking. She doesn't waste any of her dough. All the little bits are put through the machine again. Clara is making enough to feed her family and friends. Clara makes her own bamboo moulds to form the cannoli. She harvests the canes every February, cutting and cleaning them to form 15 centimetre rods. Con questo si fanno le cannole, con la canna di bambù, a posto. She lays them lengthways on the pastries and uses water to stick the pastry edges together over the mould. While she does this, she heats her lard. She checks to see it's hot enough by dropping some dough into the pan. It should bubble and pop to the surface. Clara fries four or five at a time, turning them regularly. Once the pastry is hard, she removes the bamboo rods. Bamboo does not overheat like modern metal rods do, and they are easy to remove. Clara continues frying the pastries until they are nut colored. She leaves them to cool in a tin placed at an angle. For the filling, Clara uses cow's milk ricotta, which she mixes with a little sugar. She sifts this through a very fine mesh to make it light and fluffy. Clara likes to add chocolate buttons to her ricotta. She uses a knife to fill both ends of her cannoli. Clara finishes them with a dusting of icing sugar. The 
dice no me sono pronte, questo è l'ultimo, l'ultimo lavoro del cannone, questo sono pronte. Grazie Clara! Sono pronte per mangiarle però, non per conservarle. And Andrea gets to try one. They are deliciously crunchy and not too sweet. Clara, buonissimo. Buonissimo. Buon appetito! Click on the subscribe button for regular helpings of Pasta Grannies.